Hi there, welcome on my channel. This will be my first snowboard review and I hope you will enjoy it. I also strongly encourage you to share your opinions in the comment section. I'll do my best to share my initial impressions of riding the armpit Big Kahuna during my February trip to Kronplatz. So it won't be a purely technical review, but you'll get to see what our day on the slopes looked like and how board performed in the various pinic settings through the day. My friend Jacob is riding Fanatic Royal Extreme. As you can see, the weather was great and the conditions on the slopes were near to perfect as well. I've started the day with the Duxtons around uh, minus 9 plus 21 degrees. Kahuna is paired with John's Apollo bindings and Adidas lexicon. Przemek is riding on Salomon Ultimate Ride. The slopes of Kronplatz turned out to be a perfect place for a board like Big Kahuna. They are very wide and turns out to be uh, quite long, so we can tire our legs out quickly on a board like this. Right away you can feel that Kahuna is a river, it's a very steep board. <laughs> I've tried some switch since I was on the Duxtons, um, but I'm not a good switch rider, so uh, it was a bit, a bit of struggle for me, especially that butter transition, you can see that the front almost didn't lift at all. The tip and tail on the Kahuna is very stiff as on every other amplitude boards. I had the uh, opportunity to ride it. The second run is in the Duxtons as well. This time I've decided to hold the edge uh, longer or in every turn, make, make some wider turns, almost riding uphill. We are using an intercom to communicate on the slopes. I think this is one of the best new uh, stuff they have tried in the last years. Uh, it's a very helpful thing if you should ride with your friends or family or if you are a snowboard instructor. Twarda is jebana. The combination of high stiffness and pretty big side cut, it's around 9 meters, 8.9 already tell us that this board likes to be lean hard on the edge. It holds 
edge uh, almost perfect. Like for its size 161, I weighed around 90 kilograms. I had no issues with the edge bolt except when it was due to my own technical errors. <laughs> Fanatic Royal Extreme, uh, it's a board from 2006 or 2007, so as you can see it still carves like a champ. Fanatics uh, were made in Poland, but I think they were more targeted to the uh, Asian market. Usually they were pretty long, 176, 182, so you have a lot of effective edge. And they are very narrow in a way, so if you have big boots like me, it's a no-go. Now we're getting a little bit tired, so we're gonna try some Eurocars for fun. As you can see, we're 11 and a half US boot size carving on this board is no problem you can put it very hard on the edge and you won't have any toe or heel drag issues with almost any biking setups on that run I've changed stance to forward stance something like uh, plus 15 or plus 18 on the back foot and plus 33, 36 on the front foot. In summary, Ampli Big Kahuna isn't a board for beginners or intermediate riders. If you don't have a boot size over 44, don't weigh at least 85 kilograms and aren't in good shape, it's better to look for something else. I was hoping that this board will be one more cover for me, but I see it more as a free ride and carving board. And it should also perform pretty good in the powder because it has a huge surface area. It stand out, future is its width at 276 mm giving you room for larger boots and euro carves. Compared to other balls, it's the stiffest one in my collection. Uh, even the standard tutor claims to be an 8 on a flex scale, but it's a way softer and more lively. Uh, even Corua it's somewhere between those two, but its unique taper and shape allows you to initiate turns quite easily. Grip on Amplit is very close to Stranda, even though uh, Stranda is 9 cm longer. If you liked my video, please uh, drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Aloha guys, see you in the mountains.